Okay, hi Aya, good morning to you and to everyone else who's watching. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mina and I'm a first year med student living in Los Angeles. And ever since I moved to LA, I started making video letters for my little sister Aya, but I share them online as well so that you guys can follow along on my journey. And today, it's November 11th. Happy 11-11, you guys. In honor of that, and in honor of the fact that I have a block exam in two days, I'm gonna be doing an 11 hour and 11 minute study marathon. Wow. So if you're interested in spending the day studying with me and seeing how I keep myself motivated through 11 straight hours of hematology, keep on watching. Okay, you guys, it is approximately 10.51 in the morning, and I'm going to start my 11 hour and 11 minute study marathon at 11 a.m. on the dot. I'm done getting ready, nothing left to do but get started. I guess to give you some context of what I will be doing, I'm two days out from the exam, which means at this point I've already gone through, I would say like my first two passes of all of the information, which means I've at least heard it somewhere like in lecture or reviewed my notes twice through. I would say I'm like 75% of the way through like the hard memorization process that I do after that. So like I've gone through most of my flashcards and I would say I feel like 75% confident about them. We're going to try to get that number up to at least 90%. Then I'm going to switch into testing my knowledge. So going through practice questions, going through case studies, things like that. All right, time to get started. Anki, here I come. This is the study setup for today. I'm gonna work on making some flashcards based on notes I made last night. Okay, time lapse time. Okay, one hour in. Feeling all right. I kind of want a snack though. We are two hours in the books. It's officially caffeine time for me. I decided my anxiety really just cannot handle a Red Bull or Celsius today, so we're sticking with tea, which I do actually have a tea fun fact that I learned pretty recently, and I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't know it sooner. So Aya, you may have noticed that across like tons of different languages, the word for tea is either some variation of the sound tea or like te, or some variation of the word chai. For example, we both speak English and Japanese, and obviously in English we call tea, tea, but in Japanese we call it ocha, and almost all other languages fall into one of those two buckets. Basically, both tea and cha are two different pronunciations for the same Chinese character, for tea. And whether someone says tea or chai essentially depends on what trade routes their culture used to get tea in the first place. A your culture was initially introduced to tea through overland trade routes like via the Silk Road, you say cha or chai. Basically, areas in northern China would have been the ones trading via the Silk Road, and they happened to use a Mandarin pronunciation of this character, which was cha. And so all the countries and cultures who received their tea originally from that northern area of China would say cha or chai. So that goes for Persian, Turkish, Russian, Arabic, Swahili, as you can see, there's a pattern. Now, on the other hand, if your culture received tea through maritime trade, then you probably say something like tea or te. You would have gotten your tea from a southern region of China, which I think was called the Fujian province, but please correct my pronunciation. And so that would have influenced languages like Dutch, Italian, Spanish, French, and English, which is why I, as an American, say tea. Isn't that kind of cool? Okay, I have changed locations. It is just after two. I started studying in my living room because I got sick of my desk. Um, I'm gonna make some lunch and then, honestly, I've reached the point in my studying where I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed because I know enough to realize just how little I know. And whenever I feel like this, I try to take a break, eat, rest, whatever, and Honestly, like getting my thoughts out by talking to other people is usually really helpful. So 
I think I'm gonna get out of the house for a bit, maybe study with some friends at the library. Okay, hi guys, I'm just coming home from the library. It's like 5 p.m. now. So I'm over the halfway point in my 11 hours and 11 minutes of studying. Um, my brain is so dead, you guys, but getting out, getting a change of scenery definitely helped. And I swear it helps with memorization too, to just like practice things in different settings. Cause sometimes like if I'm only learning something in my room when I'm suddenly like in a lecture hall taking a test. The environment change is like so distracting to my brain that I forget some stuff. So yeah, next up is the gym because whenever I have brain fog, exercise and movement always helps. So even though I honestly don't really feel like working out right now, I'm gonna go do some flashcards on the stationary bike. Wish me luck. I'm starting to feel crazy. <laughs> Okay, gym done, shower done. It was honestly like kind of a lame workout, but it was good to just like move, I feel like. It is almost 7 p.m. now. Currently, I am debating whether I actually feel like cooking dinner tonight. But you guys, I am starting to feel a little bit better about the content. I've definitely made progress, which is good. So, good reminder. I, uh, sometimes you just gotta trust the process. It is a marathon, not a sprint. So, yeah, screw it. I'm gonna order Chipotle. While I do that, though, do you guys know the origin of the word marathon? It is kind of a fun legend. I'm sure some of you guys know it, but for those of you who don't, basically the word marathon comes from the name of an ancient Greek city that was called Marathon. And way back in the day, I think this would have been the 5th century BCE, the big beef that was going on in ancient Greece was between Athenians and Persians. Obviously, Athens and Sparta also like did not get along all the time, but actually in this particular circumstance that I'm thinking of, they had a little collab. There was one battle that the Athenians actually won against the Persians, which was pretty significant, and it was called the Battle of Marathon because it took place at the city of Marathon. After the Athenians won, they sent a messenger to go back to Athens and tell everyone that the Athenians won, the Persians were defeated, and like spread the news of their victory. So a messenger literally just runs on foot from the city of Marathon where the battle took place all the way back to Athens And can you guess how long that distance was? 25 miles not 26. I'm not sure where we made the switch but 25 miles or essentially the length of a marathon race that we would run today And as the story goes when the messenger finally made it to Athens after like fighting in a battle and running 25 straight miles He announced we won and then promptly died on the spot from exhaustion um, realistically that story is probably more of a legend than a fact but there really was a battle between Athenians and Persians at the city of Marathon and then in 1896 to commemorate this poor messenger who had to run all the way between the two cities running the marathon was introduced to the Olympic Games regardless of how factual that story is I do think it is a very wise cautionary tale about why I should absolutely never try to run a marathon p.m. so I am an hour and 11 minutes out from being done for the day it might sound weird but that went by faster than I thought it would <sighs> oh my god y'all 
It is 10.11, which means that I have officially studied for 11 hours and 11 minutes today, which I guess I'm proud of myself for doing that, but also like, ew. <laughs> I promise I do not regularly uh, have 11 hour long cram sessions, but sometimes before a block exam, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm by no means encouraging anyone to do that. Please don't feel like you should be studying for 11 hours. Do what works for you. But yeah, this is just like the reality of my situation right now, I guess. Like, I needed to study a lot. It has been a long day. My brain is so fried. But Aya and everyone else who is watching, thank you so much for sticking it out with me. Couldn't have done it without you. Um, and happy 11-11. Anyways, Aya, TLDR. Sometimes your studying is a marathon, not a sprint, so take it at your own pace. Just trust the process, but ideally you will never have to study for 11 hours straight. And uh, yeah, that's the tea.